Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we have a collaboration today. What we are doing is looking at some of the best game development channels on YouTube. Now we've all kind of worked together, there's six of us, and we're kind of just promoting each other. Now if you're already subscribing to some of these channels, you've probably seen a couple of these videos pop up. Whereas if you've never heard of any of them, boy are you in for a treat, because I'm going to showcase to you six of the best game development websites that are out there. And if you are a Godot developer, you're really going to like this list, because there is a lot of Godot content to be covered. So without further ado, let us jump in. Ask Game Dev. Now, Ask Game Dev is kind of unique on this list in that they're not as nitty gritty. You're probably going to have the least amount of Godot content of all of the channels we were talking about today, but what they are is more covering game development at a macro level. They cover topics that are actually really difficult to find uh, around the internet. Things like uh, how to run a successful Kickstarter campaign, how to go viral, what you do in this particular area or segment. We'll look at some of their videos in just a second, but they've also got a lot of things along the lines of uh, amalgamation, so top game engines, or top games made with Game Engine X or Game Engine Y. Now what they are is a collective of game developers answering your questions, thus the name Ask Game Dev. So I guess it could also be Answer from Game Dev, but Ask Game Dev definitely has a better ring to it. And like I said, their videos, here we are kind of looking at their entire playlist of videos. They have 170,000 subscribers, so they're putting me to shame in terms of size, and their videos are incredibly polished. They definitely have a really nice look look and production value to everything they make. Something that, again, puts me to absolute shame. So you can see here, we got a number of list-based things. So uh, games that teach game development, uh, game engine showcases, and so on. But where they really shine is things like top level, mobile game development in 2020 explained, how to go viral, tips for new deal, how to run a Kickstarter campaign, how to spot bad indie game developer publishers, the real costs of game development. So a lot of the things that you really kind of struggle for out there, like to find that kind of information on, they really do a good job there. Plus they got a lot of just entertaining lists, like 10 more solo developed games, games developed by a single person, for example, game design mistakes, best 2D game engines. You can kind of get an idea of where they're really, their uh, focus is, but really these are the areas, game design, um, topics, monetization topics, publishing topics, that is where they really, really shine. So if you're trying to figure out how to, you know, pitch to a publisher or, or launch a Kickstarter, it's just like the, the business or top level concepts for game development, Ask Game Dev does a really good job of handling those topics. And again, with a really nice production quality to everything they do. They have a Discord server and they also have a website available. Uh, this has available at askgamedev.com. Uh, and I will, of course, link all of the links in the linked article down below. So if you want to check any of this out, check out their uh, YouTube channel or submit some stuff for them to actually, you know, you want to ask a game dev something, there is a submission option here. Plus, of course, they're on all of the socials. Uh, so that is Ask Game Dev. GD Quest. Now, GD Quest is probably known to you if you are a Godot developer. If you've seen any of my videos, GD Quest videos are almost always recommended alongside them in the sidebar. And that's because GD Quest is one of the preeminent sites on YouTube for Godot tutorials. He's got an absolute ton of tutorials. On top of that, Nathan and I actually collaborated on a Godot tools project a couple of years back. Uh, so this is a channel, if you are a Godot developer, you definitely want to know about. But it's not just Godot being covered on the GD Quest channel. Uh, there is all kinds of stuff. Again, some of it is very hands-on, some things like short form tutorials such as creating a laser beam, uh, but we've got also a lot of open source focus. He really likes FOSS, or free and open source software. So you'll see things in here like um, best uh, free programs to work with. We've got um, some comparisons between like Godot and other engines such as Unity and Game Maker. Uh, we've got tutorials on programs such as Krita. He actually creates a tool for Blender video sequencing called uh, Power Sequencer. He is very, very active. I, mean, I guess his team is very active in the world of open source. In fact, Nathan is uh, one of the contributors or one of the main contributors, in fact, for the documentation for Godot 3.x and 4.0. So he's actually part of the Godot team now working on the documentation side of things. So you'll find here on his channel, especially if you are coming at it as a Godot developer, a ton of content here on Godot. But on top of that, you're going to find um, just general FOSS stuff and game development stuff in here, and then a smattering of some other things. Now on top of all of the course stuff you're seeing here, he also does uh, coursework. So if you head on over to uh, gdquest.com, you're going to find he's got a number of 
tools that he've made that are open source. Again, like Power Sequencer we talked about earlier on. Uh, he's got shaders available, uh, batch exporters for Krita, and so on. And then he's got a number of courses. So if you want to check out a full-blown course where he makes all of the stuff behind everything completely open source, uh, check that out at gdquest.com. Heartbeast. Now, Heartbeast has been at this since 2013, making game development tutorials. Now, I believe that he started off in the world of Game Maker, and he's been making a ton of tutorials going back to 2013. So we go really far back in his catalog here. You're going to see there are a number of Game Maker tutorials from like six years ago, and they're still perfectly valid today, by the way. If you wish to and want to learn Game Maker, Heartbeast is probably the best tutorial site there. We've also got some, uh, actually quite a bit of pixel art tutorials here as well. But where I think a lot of you are probably going to find Heartbeast the most entertaining is when we get to the newest stuff here. So what you see here, for example, we have a, I believe it is 20, yeah, 22 part making an action RPG in Godot 3.2 tutorial series. He has massively comprehensive Godot series that kind of build on each other and all of his stuff sort of work together, but he's also got one off things. Like again, you can see here controller input or um, kind of getting into RPG stuff again, state machines in Godot and so on. So if you are looking for either game maker tutorials or Godot tutorials, Heartbeast has been at this for years and produces some of the best uh, game development tutorials you are going to find on the internet. Again, 163,000 subscribers, been at it since 2013, really knows what he's doing. On top of that, there is the website. So this is available at heart. Uh, gamedev.com. Come here. Uh, you can find a Godot course. I believe it's the one bit. Yeah, the one bit Godot course. Uh, this is more of a formalized structured thing on creating you know, one bit style games. Uh, really comprehensive in what you get. So if you're looking for something a little bit more structured and course based, he has you covered there as well. He's also got some older uh, game maker tutorial uh, courses as well available. So if you find yourself looking for high quality Godot, Game Maker, or game art tutorials, Heartbeast is definitely one of the places you should check out. Born CG. Now, Born CG is actually the oldest of the channels going back to the prehistoric days of 2008. Wow, I didn't even know YouTube existed in 2008. It's probably right around the creation point. Now, Born CG is run by Colin, who is an actual real-world high school teacher teaching IT. And in this case, it's all about, well, you can see in the name, Born CG, CG standing for computer graphics. You go through a lot of the stuff on this channel is all about Blender, everyone's favorite 3D open source tool. But there is also a ton of content here for Godot game developers. So let's just take a quick look through all of the videos we've got here. You're going to see here. We've got a number of uh, Godot tutorials here. Again, 17 part series on building a platformer available there. But then we're also getting back into and current with Blender 2.8 and 2.9 tutorials. Now the Blender stuff goes back. We got 3D game with Godot. And of course, what you're going to see is using Godot and Blender together. But if you want to get into the Blender stuff, he's got an absolute ton of tutorials to get you up and running with Blender as well. So if you're looking to do 3D work, you want to learn um, the Godot game engine, or you want to learn computer graphics using Blender, or even Blender game engine, which technically now exists as UPBGE, this is a great place to go. So you can learn Godot, Bl um, Godot here, Blender here, and then Blender game engine, also known as UPBGE. And as you can see, he has made over the years an absolute ton of tutorials and almost every topic that you want to see covered in the world of Blender. And trust me, Blender is one of those areas where could definitely uh, people could use a hand in learning it. Well, Colin has you covered over at Born CG. And again, this is impressive. A channel that was started in 2008. There aren't many of those out there. So that is Born CG, a huge collection of Godot, Blender, and then Blender Game Engine stuff out there for you to learn from. Dev Duck. Now, in all honesty, Dev Duck probably earns the name Game From Scratch a lot better than Game From Scratch does. I'm off on a weird tangent, and he is basically documenting creating a game from scratch. Well, from a game engine, anyways. So this is a, a full-time developer's part-time indie project and the documentation of the creation of said project. And a couple of things are really impressive here. First off, he has just about 110,000 subscribers, and he is by 
far the youngest channel we just covered. We're looking at uh, founded in 2019, the beginning of 2019. So this channel is only two years old and he's already over 100K subscribers. And really what we have documented here is the process of creating a game. Now, if you go back to the very beginning, you're gonna see a lot of Unity related tutorials. And we've got hands-on technical stuff here, things like creating rain particle systems, using Unity with uh, Git. And then we get some of the things in terms of um, business process or strategy behind the scenes, how to, you know, time management, uh, going into indie business, balancing indie game development with a full-time job. So some of the behind the scenes stuff, but then what we have is right around here, where we go, right there, you will see that he converted from using Unity to Godot. And we've got a documentation of the process of going from Unity to Godot, and then he just carried on from there. Now we've got a number of tutorials on developing a game using Godot, a game called Dauphin, I believe is the pronunciation of it. It's his project, and this is pretty much, well, it's documenting a game from scratch. <laughs> so uh, definitely check out Dev Duck. It's kind of more of a long project kind of view and an insight into what the development process is, starting with Unity and ending with Godot. Kids can code. Now for these guys, the name kind of says it all. They believe that it's never too early to start game development or development in general. And they are teaching kids how to start programming through the art of creating games. Now this started off, if you go through their videos early on, you'll find the early stuff was definitely teaching with Python, teaching the Python programming language, and then getting into game development using Pygame, which is a really good introductory method. But you'll find uh, they've done a ton of game development stuff, a lot of it built around Python and Pygame. Uh, but in the more recent years, being the last, say, three years, you're going to see there is a ton of content here for Godot game development. All aspects of Go de game development. We've got uh, full multi-part projects such as the tank game, so which is over uh, 10 parts here. And then we've got kind of individual. So here again, your first game, this is a, uh, what, six part tutorial here. And then individual things like using particles or visual scripting and so on. So you've got a good broad swath of um, Godot coverage here. Uh, pretty much all of the topics that you would want to learn for Godot. And the nice thing is it's in a presentable format that should be accessible uh, to a school age child or a child at heart in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, or 80s. So Kids Can Code, if you are looking to introduce a younger demographic to the world of programming, especially through the creation of games, is a great resource out there for Godot and as well earlier on for Python and Pygame. Now on top of their YouTube channel, they also also have the Godot recipes they've launched. This one's actually kind of interesting. It's sort of like those um, go cookbook format things where you basically, I want to do X. So in the 2D world, I want to do screen wrapping. Boom, here is a code segment and uh, extract on how to do that particular thing. So if you're looking for little snippets on how to use Godot, kind of on a take it as you need it manner, Godot Recipes is definitely worth checking out. That is available on their site. I will, of course, link this down below. Also, they have the Kids Can Code webpage. Um, we kind of bit of an overview of their classes and so on that are available. Plus they are on their various different socials as well. And their source code for some of their projects is available up on GitHub. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is six excellent game dev channels here on YouTube. If you've got other suggestions, let me know them in the comments down below. And that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.